Exciting news from Uranus today, where astronomers have used the James Webb Space Telescope to discover a tiny new moon. The seventh planet from the sun, Uranus is an ice giant composed mostly of water, ammonia, and methane. It has a strange sideways rotation that's almost 90 degrees from the plane of its orbit around the sun. The new moon, called S2025U1, the IAU will give it a better name sometime soon, is just 10 kilometers across, and it's that small size that caused Voyager 2 to miss the moon when it passed Uranus in 1986. The diameter also made the moon undetectable by other telescopes, but it couldn't escape the piercing gaze of JWST. 10 40-minute exposures of Uranus revealed the moon in a circular orbit about 56,000 kilometers above the planet. S2025U1 joined 28 other known moons of Uranus. You can see the new moon in this composite image from JWST along with 13 of the other moons. The five major moons of Uranus in order of size are Titania, Oberon, Umbriel, Ariel, and Miranda. Uranus has a very complicated system of 13 rings and 29 known moons, and the rings are composed of dark material that doesn't reflect much light, meaning they aren't as visible as the rings of Jupiter or Saturn. 14 smaller moons orbit among the inner rings of Uranus, and some probably act as shepherds, keeping the lanes between the rings clear of debris. The only spacecraft to visit Uranus is Voyager 2, and you can see in one of the images it captured here of the ring system. Given Uranus's very complicated and somewhat chaotic moon-ring system and its strange rotation, there's certainly much more left to discover about the planet. Other than Voyager 2, there have been a number of proposed spacecraft missions to Uranus over the years, but none have yet been funded. NASA identified its Uranus Orbiter and Probe as the highest priority flagship mission in its 2023 Planetary Science Decadal Survey due to a lack of knowledge of ice giant planets. The decadal surveys in various areas of astronomy and astrophysics identify the highest priority areas for research, so that should mean a good chance of a mission to Uranus in the next 10 years. Of course, that all depends on continued funding for science missions at NASA, and the prospects for that look pretty bleak at the moment. That's today's video. I'll catch you in the next one.